Danica Patrick is opening up about getting her breast implants removed after suffering multiple health issues. The 40-year-old former race car driver took to her Instagram on Friday to share the deeply personal news and started out by writing, I wasn't sure I was ready to share this, but then I remembered that true vulnerability is sharing something you're not really ready to. So here it is. Danica went on to explain the backstory of when she decided to get implants in the first place and why. Penning, I got breast implants in November of 2014. I got them because I want to have it all. I was really fit, but I didn't have boobs, so I got them. Everything went well, and I was happy with them. After sharing about the original procedure, she explained the intimate details on how her health and body started changing for the worse, adding, Fast forward about three years to early 2018, and I noticed that my hair was not as healthy and was breaking off. I also gained a few pounds and had no luck losing it. Then fast forward to late 2020 and the wheels came off. I had cycle irregularity, gained more weight, my hair wasn't looking healthy at all, and my face was a different shape. Weird, I know. So I went down the rabbit hole to figure it out. I did every test that could be done. Danica went on to pen a laundry list of quote symptoms and out of range medical tests she took in order to figure out what was wrong with her, which included hypothyroidism, hypoglycemia, adrenal fatigue, low estrogen, and more. She concluded the post by revealing she had the breast implants removed on Wednesday and referred to the selfie she posted alongside her candid caption, saying the pic on the left is before her removal surgery and the pic on the right is from just a few hours afterward, noting the immediate differences she noticed writing, my face had more color and less dark circles. No food before the second pick. My face started producing oil again. I could take a 30% deeper breath into my chest already and I had so much energy when I woke up and surgery was at 2.30 p.m. On her Instagram story, she shared snaps of herself being driven home from the hospital and explained that her post-op meds were quote, mostly homeopathic and only a little bit of Tylenol. Despite her personal challenges, Danica has released a new episode of her podcast, Pretty Intense, every Thursday since 2019. That same year, the entrepreneur stopped by Access Hollywood to chat all about her passion project. Well, one of the things when I was racing that I came to really love was this ability to inspire people. And I, I got to do that by just being out there. And, you know, I didn't want to lose that when I left racing. And then I thought, man, there's a lot of inspiring people and they yeah. don't race cars. So I'm sure I can find another way. And so podcasts are just becoming this increasingly awesome platform oh, yeah. to really expand into stories and dive deep into things. And I had done a bunch of them promoting my book, Pretty Intense, yeah. and thought, holy crap, I talked to Joe Rogan for like almost two and a half hours. I was like, and that was really fun. And so, you know, coming from a world of doing so many interviews, when you go do an hour, you're like, do you really need an hour? <laughs> right. <laughs> but this, this format is such a, a real, I don't know, there's just more vulnerability. There's more learning that goes on. So for me, the show is meant to inspire people to hey, expand, to think outside the box, to grow, so to um, hear other people's podcast. stories and learn from them yeah. um, so that they can kind of just like a, 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 work on becoming a better human being for themselves.